Hey, what's going on, PB boy, man? Mike here in the 34 31 Falcons over the Seattle Seahawks. Man, this offense was just, I thought they was just rolling. I, I really think they are starting to pick up things. Still, you saw Keeson getting comfortable with uh, all his players. The plays that it, uh, he's really not accustomed to. You know, this is a whole completely different uh, system. This is not his system, in other words. These are not his plays. These are not the players that he recruited, okay? He's learning, and he's doing such a great job learning, you know, on the job. This is his first year with the Atlanta Falcons. He doesn't know anything about Matt Ryan. He doesn't know anything about Julio from what he saw, what he's seen, you know, in highlights like everyone else. He knows, you know, now how to get these people. He's getting comfortable uh, with getting these guys in the right position to make plays. And, you know, the guys know uh, exactly what Shark like to play, uh, what he likes to call. And like I said, man, it's only a matter of time. I think the Falcons are really starting to pick up steam on offense. You got Matt Ryan. Uh, it's it's two hundred uh, yards passing. Uh, record kind of came to an end tonight. Um, I think it was like sixty four games with um, at least two hundred yards passing. That came to an end tonight. Um, but he had a great job, 195-yard passing, two touchdowns, uh, one to Sanu, one, oh, that one-handed. Oh, my God, that was a great catch from Muhammad Sanu and Tololo, Levine Tololo with the touchdown. He had you no know, Tevin Coleman. I think he had like um, like 40-something job, 89 yards rushing on the game. But uh, the defense, I just, you know, even though, you know, Russell Wilson had a monster game, you know, 288-yard passing, 86-yard rushing, the Falcons defense just continued to impress me. Camille, uh, Kamal Ishmael had a sack. Grady Jarrett uh, attack. True front with an interception. The special teams were just atrocious. But from the, but uh, besides that, you know the defense. Uh, this team is this defense is just getting so much better. It really uh They they the guys up front getting so much better. You have uh, Dontari Poe, Grady Jarrett, who is just a freaking monster. This guy is on the freaking ride. This guy is special, okay? Grady Jarrett is special. Vic Beasley, this front line, this front four of the Falcons, they are the real deal, man. They really are the freaking real deal. And it's only going to get better. But um, if the Falcons continue, they have Tampa Bay uh, next. Uh, no Jameis Winston in the next game. This team can really, and I think they are, are getting hot. They can go on a, a, another run, man, where they can get to the playoffs, you know, um, at least get uh, any, you know, you never know what's going to go on. You know, Philadelphia can go on a two, three game, a losing streak. So can Carolina. Um, a lot of teams can go, uh, the Rams, they can go on the losing streak. You just never know what's going to happen in the NFL. This is why we play the game. This is why we continue. You know, the Falcons always say, you know, take one game at a time. Okay, they can they can easily go on a, uh, a winning streak. You know, a lot of people were upset. You know, we lost to uh, Baltimore, not Baltimore, but uh, the Buffalo Bills and you know uh, the Dolphins. They should have won those games. But this is the NFL. Like anything can happen, man. And you know, the Falcons, they're improving on offense, and I really think this is just the beginning. Falcons get hot get back to the playoffs, and they can, you know, try to get right back to the Super Bowl. And it's time to bring it home. But let me know what you guys think, man. Are the Falcons are getting hot? Are they getting hot, and can they get back to the Super Bowl? Let me know what you guys think. Your boy, man, Mike is out.